actually, the way we run our research, and research is the key to our success, uh, we focus on, uh, on uh, it, it's, a, it's called Wright's Law. Mm. Uh, it's a relative of Moore's Law in the semiconductor industry, just giving us a sense of how quickly costs are going to decline associated with new technologies. Mm. And it gives us a really good idea when different um, layers of demand are going to increase. So I'll just give you a quick example. Electric vehicle sales, for example, we think are, are exploding. We think they'll go up 80% on average per year over the next five years. Why? Wow. Because the costs have dropped to a low enough level, and the total cost of ownership today is lower than that of gas-powered vehicles. So we're going to see exponential growth in the auto industry for the first time in 100 years. Well, we're very excited about digital wallets. Uh, mm -hmm. So Square's Cash App and, and PayPal's Venmo are leading the way here. In China, it was WeChat Pay and Alipay. And we really think that these digital wallets uh, and two-sided marketplaces, merchants and consumers, on, uh, uh, on both of them, uh, are, are going to usurp a lot of the role the banks play today. Mm. It's going digital, going mobile, a little brand, uh, bank branch in your pocket or your pocketbook. Uh, and we're going to do uh, we're going to have all kinds of uh, financial services uh, available through them, including loans, debit cards, credit cards, stock buying, Bitcoin buying. Uh, so we think that's a huge, huge trend out there. We also think genomics in mm. the healthcare space. Uh, we for the first time, thanks to DNA sequencing, again, costs have come down low enough. DNA sequencing is going to introduce science into healthcare decision making for the first time. We can honestly say that uh, until now, uh, more than half of all healthcare decisions were in some part made through guesses or experiences. Now we're going to have the data. What has mutated in your genomic profile? What what in the six billion bits of code in your genome, what's gone wrong? It's like a needle in the haystack. What's gone wrong? For the first time, we'll be able to identify exactly what's gone wrong. And with CRISPR and other gene editing technologies and gene therapy, along with artificial intelligence,